this morning's Columbus paper and the comments by Ohio State head coach Jim Tressel. A lot of electricity, and that there is at Ohio Stadium. As we welcome you here for today's game between the Buckeyes of Ohio State and the Penguins of Youngstown State, the 118th season of football. So after being blown off the tee a couple of times, they'll hold it there for Pretorius as we get set to go here from Ohio Stadium. And D'Angelo Wilson takes the kick. And still going. And he moves up to the 30-yard line at Youngstown State. We'll, we'll see what happens in 60 minutes. And Zets working out of the shotgun on first and 10 with four wideouts. And meet, immediately throws it over the far side. Kishman, Tanner, Malat, Sampson, Theodore up front. Malat and Theodore, former defensive players, have been converted to the offensive side of the ball. Scott, Lane, Helly, Nazari. As on second down, the handoff up the middle, and Jabari Scott takes it, and a good gain. They called it a gain of nine, so it's third down and one out of the shotgun for Zets. And he'll give it to Scott again, and that will be close. He needed to get to the 40. He was pushed back. Last year averaging over 44 yards a kick. Low snap there, and that's angled off to the near side. And that will come to rest right at the 30-yard line. So from the 30, Wells and Johnson, the uh, backs, Rubisky split to the near side, and yeah, he wants to try to throw it, and he's coming near side, and he's got his receiver, and out of bounds there at the 45 is Brian Rubisky. Good call, Tom Zach. <laughs> From the 45-yard line, both receivers, hardline and Rubisky split to the top of the screen. And yeah, how about this? Beckman, straight drop. Now he's going to throw it downfield, and he's got his man. That's Rubisky inside the 15. Down to the 12. Sanzenbacher has checked into the game number 12. He's split to the top, and they want to throw it again. Coming to Rubisky, near side. Makes a move and gets down to about the six. Second down, three yards to go. And they're calling an audible there at the line of scrimmage. Beckman will give it to Wells. First running play, and that is Beanie Wells. And this is a terrific offensive line led by big Kurt Barton over there on the uh, right side. Big Ten players, Boone and yeah. Barton, All-American candidates. And there's the uh, receivers and backs. Uh, DeAndre Johnson, the fullback, in front of Wells now. On a third and one, and Wells will get the call again, trying the left side. And that will be close. And Beckman's going to take it again, and he's got enough for it. Now first and goal from the two-yard line, Robisky split to the top. And Wells will get the call on the left side, and a strong effort right there by. Ball now at the three, so second and goal from the three. And Wells is going to try it again, and there is absolutely nothing happening. Three wide receivers for Ohio State on third and goal from the three. Beckman looking, got it, touchdown to Dane Sanzenbacher. The freshman from Central Catholic High School in Toledo, Ohio. We talked about in the opener, been a lot of firsts today. First time quarterback starting in game experience. Dane Sanzenbacher, first time freshman ever starting in the lineup at receiver. Pretorius on to attempt the point after. And it's good. 9.36 to go. First quarter from Ohio Stadium. And the Buckeyes on the board first. The touchdown pass from Beckman to Sanzenbacher. Good catch. Kickoff now. Pretorius to send it downfield. Back deep. D'Angelo Wilson, number four. DeMichael Horn, number seven. And seven, DeMichael Horn will make the grab, and he will be dropped inside the 15. They'll send the receivers to the near side, out of the shotgun. Jabari Scott, the running back. He'll get the call. And across the 15 to the 16, Scott. Zetz has a lot of carries throughout his career. On second down and seven, they'll give it to Scott again. He tries the left side, maybe gets a yard or two. Anticipate where the ball's going. Third down and four, Horn split to the top of your screen. Zetz on the straight drops, got a man open right down the middle. And uh, Derek Bush, now first and 10 for Youngstown State. Little play action, rolling to the right. And the pass completed by Zetz. And to the 30-yard line. See Tom Zetz just throw that ball right in their numbers every every play. On second and six, they split Irizarry out to the far side and a little mix-up right there. And that running play was stuffed. Ball out of that running back's hand, uh, stomach there and just carried around the end himself. Third down and seven. Hit split to the near side. They try to set up the screen right there and nothing doing. 
Brought down at the 31 with Barlack, the snapper. Better snap this time to Nowicki. And uh, boy, he sent that off the side of his foot. And that's going to bound out at about the 38 yard line. So, one loss away from having another perfect season last year. They have already had one in 2002 winning a national championship. So, they do know how to win. Beckman back to throw. Good coverage. Now second and ten for Beckman. Went out of the shotgun on that first down play. Movement on the left side over there. False start. Number 71, offense. Five-yard penalty remains first down. You're normally going to win the battle at the line of scrimmage. On second and 15, Hardline was in motion to the top of your screen, and Wells takes it on the right side. Mo Wells on third down at 11. Beanie Wells checks into the game. So does Sansenbacher out of the shotgun. Beckman. And he is looking downfield to number 12, who just can't hold on to it. The uh, freshman, Dane Sansenbacher. Hards. A punt in his career. Third year as a starter. He'll send it down to number four, D'Angelo Wilson. Boy, he gets a nice roll on that punt. Moving all the way down to about the uh, 15, inside the 15 to the 14. As this thing conducts a lot of heat, I'm grilling down here. All right, Rob, thank you very much. On first and 10, the uh, Penguins go to the ground and they find some room on the right hand side. So second and five. For Youngstown State, Zets on the play action, and he'll throw it downfield, and he's got a receiver over there. That was number seven to Michael Horn. So now third and five for Zets and the Penguins. And he's got pressure from behind, and he has dropped back inside the 10-yard line. Lawrence Wilson. And Wiki struggling again. That might have, yeah, that, that was blocked. Somebody got a piece of that. That will roll to a stop at the 27-yard line. And when they get a call on it, they can go ahead and do something with it. Penalty marker down. Illegal substitution. Illegal substitution. Ohio State came out with 12 players from the sideline huddle. That's a five-yard penalty. Still first down. Sane is in the uh, football game on a first and 15 now, just over three minutes ago, first quarter. And he gets the call, number three. And he is inside the 25, still working. Look at him go down inside the 15. Look at Brandon Singh. Trevor Robinson in at fullback in front of Singh on first and 10 for the Buckeyes. And Singh will get the call again. And he gets down to the 10-yard line. Sansenbacher in the game on a second down and five from the 10-yard line. Singh gets the call, following his blockers. And the penals, and he got those guys here pretty good. Third down and one. And a flag goes down. Illegal substitution on the defense. They had 12 players on the field. That's a half the distance to the goal. Will remain third down. Of the true freshman Brandon Sane, who will get the call. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that pile. Still going, moving. My goodness. From the one yard line. And let's see if he does the dive. He's got it, and boy, I'll tell you what, Youngstown State battling hard. As we've completed the first quarter of play here from Ohio Stadium. That's the end of the first quarter. With Ohio State leading Youngstown State by a score of 7 to nothing. Beckman with a touchdown pass to Sansenbacher. And the Buckeyes knocking on the door when we come back for second quarter action. The deep back on third and goal from the one is Beanie Wells. He'll get the call, and he is in for the touchdown. So Ohio State, after that uh, short punt by Youngstown, that was uh, partially blocked, will take it in for their second score of the day. So the uh, first play of the second quarter. And the uh, sophomore from... Got his first touchdown of 2007. And the point after by Pretorius, and that is good. So Ohio State now with a 14 to nothing lead. You know, they may not be real happy with the number ones right yeah. now. <laughs> it takes a while to gel chemistry-wise, but a different opponent, different look than they had in practice. D'Angelo Wilson on the return, and he is dropped down at the 15-yard line by Thaddeus Gibson. Youngstown State lost 27 Letterman and eight first-team all-gateway performers from a team that won 11 and three a year ago. And Zets finds a receiver right down the seam. Ball up to the 28-yard line now. First and ten for the Penguins. 
Sets looking near side to throw. He's found number 83 here on the near side. That's Aaron Pitts. Well, Sets is in line to set at least five new offensive records at Youngstown State on a second and five. They hand it to Scott right up the middle. There's not many things he hadn't seen situation like that. Horn is in motion on a third down and two for Youngstown State. And Zets will roll out and he'll throw and it's thrown low back inside the uh, 25. And there's one that's sent straight down the middle. But Robisky will field at the uh, 23 yard line. And he'll take it outside, trying to get outside, but can't go anywhere. He is pulled down by James Terry. Robbie Schoenhoff, a 6'6, 244 pound sophomore from Mason, Ohio. He'll work out of the shotgun, split backs. And the uh, handoff up the middle to Beanie Wells. And nothing working there as that Youngstown State defense. Mo Wells, the deep back. Deontay Johnson in there at fullback on a second down and nine. And Mo Wells will get the call. And I'm telling you, nothing happening whatsoever on the ground. Ohio State better keep their eyes open and see who's coming off the edges. Third down and ten. Schoenhoff out of the shotgun. Being pressured, rolling out, and Schoenhoff is going to tuck it under and run with the football. He's still on his feet. He's got the first down to the 45-yard line. 16 yards in the pickup, first and 10. And Schoenhoff wants to throw, looking downfield. And the intended receiver down there, number 10, Devin Torrance. He had been battling an injury, but uh, good to go. And the pressure from the outside on Schoenhoff as he gets it to... Uh, Mo Wells and well covered right over there. It sets up a third down and 12 for Ohio State. Just over 10 minutes to go first half. Schoenhoff with plenty of time now throws it near side and incomplete in practice. You cannot. As much as coaches try to drive that in a scout team look, it doesn't happen. Trapasso to kick it. D'Angelo Wilson back there inside the 15. And he is just covered up. He, from the 15-yard line, Zets under center. And the running play off the right side. We get a few yards. So. Second and six now. Zets with a lot of pressure, able to swing it out and find a running back. Edwards, he's still moving. And he is finally thrown out at the 35-yard line. Press so far, but we, Youngstown State is brought down here today. Good block there by Tyler Booth, 78 on that last play to spring him free. And Zets now throwing downfield and just off the hands of Irizarry. They're going to learn a lot from this game here today. From the 37-yard line on second down and 10, Zets out of the shotgun, looking far side, and he has got Irizarry over there, makes the catch and gets to the 40, gain of a couple. Third down and six now. And this is where Youngstown State has struggled so far. Zets throwing it downfield, and the catch made over there on the far side. Beautiful job by DeMichael Horn. Craig, Ironhead, Ironhead Hayward. So there you go, in stereo. First and 10, 34-yard line. Zets throws it, and he has got... The horn again. But Ohio State needs to bring some emotion back into this game. It's kind of flat out there. Uh, second and three, and they'll hand it off. That's the 28 Edwards who's checked in there at running back. And they call him Shrek back home in Minnesota. Third and one. And the handoff to Edwards. He's got it. And inside the 20, down to the 19. We're still down 14. We need seven right here. 640 left to go in the first half. And the fake Zet's going to run it. And Zets now inside the 15, down to the 14. And Edwards, the uh, lone setback. Horn split to the near side as he goes in motion now. And Edwards will get the call. He bounces, following his blocker, still on his feet. He's down inside the five to the four-yard line. Good job. First and goal from the four-yard line. Edwards, the running back, as Horn goes in motion. Edwards has got it. Nothing happening there on the second and goal from the six-yard line. Play action there to Edwards. They'll swing it out to the far side. The pass completed, knocked out of bounds. Third and goal from the four-yard line. Zets on the straight drop, looking near side. Man wide open back in the end zone. So Brian Palmer comes on to attempt the field goal. Ball spotted at the 11-yard line. And that kick is up and good. So the field goal right there by Palmer. And with 4.34 to go first half, Ohio State's lead, 14 to 3. The Mo Wells, number 34, Jamario O'Neill, number 3, back to return the kick for Ohio State. 4.34 left to go in the first half, and that's Wells taking it back at the 7-yard line. 
And taking it to the near sideline, Wells across the 25 to first and 10, 25 yard line for Ohio State. Todd Beckman back in there at quarterback. Three wide receivers for the Buckeyes. Beckman looking to the far side and the catch made over there. Second and less than a yard. Deontay Johnson in there at fullback along with Beanie Wells who gets the call running it outside. He's got enough for the first down and he is up to about the 40 yard line. 345 left to go first half. First and 10 from the 40. Sansenbacher has checked into the game and some movement out there at the top. Looked like they uh, split out Beanie Wells that time. And, uh, Ball start, number 28, offense. Five-year penalty remains first down. So delay the snap or anticipate the snap. Now Beckman going to throw it near side. And oh, what a great throw right there. Robisky makes the catch. But that's what you want. You want big striking ability. You want an explosive play to get in rhythm again. First and 10, 37-yard line. Beckman, now he's going to run with it. He's got some room. And he is pulled out. Gets back to the line of scrimmage on a second down to nine. As Beckman working out of the shotgun. One step drop, a little slant right there. No problem whatsoever. Down to the 25 yard. First and 10 now. Ball spotted at the 24 yard line. 218 left to go. First half. Plenty of time for Beckman. Now he's dropped. And then he threw the ball. And 17. The ball back at the 31 yard line. As Hartline goes in motion to the top. Beckman looking down the middle. Tough pass. He tried to throw it through a couple. Four receivers now as they split to Beanie Wells to the top on a third down and 17. Pressure on Beckman trying to throw to Hartline and there's a penalty marker goes down. Back on the coverage was uh, Bob Perez. Spot foul with automatic first down. Ohio State has another set of downs. That sets up a first and 10 from the 21. Beckman wants to throw it again. The screen set out to Mo Wells. Look at him move. Down to about the two yard line. Boy, good patience. Blocks like you said, Roger. On first and goal from the one. Beanie Wells trying it. Leans forward. And officials are going to say he was just short. Second and goal from the one yard line. Sane will get the call and battling, driving. You got an umpire. Yes, man. touchdown, Ohio State. You got to dig deep. You got to get dig deep to see that ball across that plane of that goal line. How about this? You got a couple of true freshmen scoring touchdowns today. Yeah, Sansenbacher with the uh, touchdown reception and now Sane taking it into the end zone from a yard out. 75 yards, 355 on the drive, and Pretorius with the extra points. So. With 34 seconds to go in the first half, Ohio State has taken a 21-3 lead over Youngstown State. I think he kind of got away from finding the safeties for a couple plays, but he'll get better at it. And Pretorius with a ground ball kick that'll be picked up by the Michael Horn, number seven. We've got a couple of timeouts remaining. And Edwards will get the call. He's done a good job since he's been in there, Jordan Edwards. So Jabari Scott got the start. But it was, a, it was a good first half of football, Mike. Very good first half. And I think these coaches found out, you know, what the talent level is in this field. We could play with these guys and, you know, given the right opportunity, we need to get some turnovers. You know, the coaches talked about getting turnovers defensively for your Youngstown State, and they haven't gotten one yet today. 21 to 3 here at halftime at Ohio Stadium with the Buckeyes leading the Penguins. First ever meeting between these two schools. Well, still a great experience here at Ohio Stadium, isn't it? Every Saturday afternoon. Oh, it, it is. Uh, it's it's actually unbelievable when you when you think about the fact that uh, uh, you get 105,000 people. First and 10, 37 yard line, and some movement back there. And there's the uh, flag comes out. The uh, fullback Deontay Johnson. Ball start number 49, offense. Mike. Five yard penalty remains. First down. Yes, so first down at 15. Ball back at the 32. Hard line split to the near side. Rubisky to the top of your screen. Beanie Wells taking it right up the middle and uh, some good blocking right there. Lone setback is 28. Beanie Wells. Beckman pressure on him. Throws it out to the far side. Catches made over there and across the 45 to the 46 yard line. That was Rory Nickel. And one, Terry was the guy that came through that time and uh, made the hit. And that'll be close to the first down with. Uh, just underway, second half here at Ohio Stadium. 21-3, Buckeyes leading it. 
Beckman thrown to the far side, and Robisky makes the catch. Had to go down. Sands and Bacher in the game now on a second down and four. And once again, <laughs> Johnson just a little lean Both forward. Start, number 49, offense. Five-yard penalty. And he's going to learn from that greatly because Coach Trussell won't keep him in the ball game. He's only allowed so many snaps. On second and nine, they give it to Beanie Wells. Look at him spin. Look at him roll. Look at him go inside the 35 down to the 32-yard line. Now Deontay Johnson back in there now on a first and 10 from the 32-yard line. And Beanie gets the call again, and nothing going on the left side. Good job by Youngstown. He's been in the middle of everything today. Second and 11. Beckman throwing near side. Rubisky's got it. And inside the 10, first and goal from the nine-yard line, and Beckman will hand it off to Beanie Wells, and he's met immediately there by Dorian Chenault. Mo Wells splits out to the near side, and Beckman throwing it down the middle, and, well, I'll tell you what, a drop for the receiver. Exactly. <laughs> Third and goal from the seven-yard line. Beckman wants to throw again. He fires it in the end zone. He was looking for that same route. We repped this before, and we're going to learn from it. And from the 14-yard line, Ryan Pretorius with the uh, field goal, and it's good. So his second of the day, 24 yards, and with 9.41 to go in the third, Ohio State has increased their lead over Youngstown State to 24-3. to As Ohio State will have Ryan Pretorius kick it off. And back deep, D'Angelo Wilson, and he will not be bringing that back. So... From the 20-yard line, Jabari Scott is in there at running back, number 34, and Zets will throw it underneath, ball being juggled. Lewis. Uh, Pass interference, 33, defense. Spot foul. Leonidas. Automatic, first down. So first and 10 now as the uh, ball will be at the 23-yard line, 9.36 left to go third quarter, and Jabari Scott gets the handoff. Try on the left side and a gain of a couple there. Now for three in a row this year. Second and seven. Play action. Zets now looking near side and ball is overthrown on a third down and seven from the 26 yard line. Senior quarterback and captain Tom Zets will let it go and incomplete. The intended receiver is tight end, Louis Zirazari. And uh, he's a terrific athlete. Isn't it? Wiki? who has struggled punting the ball today. That's a low line drive kick that Robisky will pick up at the 28-yard line. And uh, he can move it about uh, four yards up to the 32. Looking at this wide receiver group, who stands out to you as the, maybe the next go-to wide receiver? Um, I mean, R Robo's having a pretty typical football stuff. Well, appreciate it. Good luck this season. Roger, back to you. Okay, Rob, thank you very much. On a, a second down at six, Beckman is hit, loses the football. And... Is it covered up by Ohio State or Youngstown State? The Penguins players are saying they've got it. Let's see what the official says. And Youngstown State, John Pennock at look 24-3. Ohio State leads it. And they'll give it to number seven, to Michael Horn on the uh, end of round. He is being chased in the far side and dragged out of bounds by Larry Grantle. Tom Zetz out of the shotgun. Two receivers split to the uh, near side. They'll hand it to Jabari Scott. Following his blockers and Scott inside the 25 to the 24. An opportunity to run pass option. Third down and seven. Dominic Barnes is split to the near side. Zets throwing it down. Oh, nearly picked off. Right in the hand. Uh, Palmer will attempt the field goal. The ball will be spotted by Todd Rowan at the 31-yard line. Make it a 41-yard attempt. And it's good. So Palmer has converted for the second time today. And Youngstown State, after the turnover, able to cash in with a field goal. So 6.44 to go in the third. Ohio State with a 24-6 lead over Youngstown State. Stephen blows to uh, kick it off for Youngstown State. And over to the far side, and that will go out of bounds. So as Beckman will start Ohio State first and 10 from the 35-yard line. And Mo Wells gets the call. As but he just loves to knock you silly. On second and five, uh, Mo Wells gets the call. Mo Wells and Beanie Wells are the split backs out of the shotgun. And Beckman immediately goes to Brian Hartline, and the sophomore from North Canton, Ohio. He's got the athleticism. Just have to give him more opportunities catching the football. 
Clock running first and ten. Beckman slips as he goes back. Now he sends it out to Mo Wells, and he gets it up to midfield. The second down and five now, 430 left to go in the third. Hartline split to the near side. Rubisky to the top of your screen. And Beckman will roll out looking for his tight end, and he's got him there. Jake Ballard, number 86, the big man. Football, the 38-yard line. Both receivers split to the near side. As Beckman looking now downfield, he's throwing it to Hartline, and nearly picking it off was things where I think the quarterback coach Joe Daniels is going to correct make sure he doesn't see that Mo Wells gets the call on a second and ten and just a couple there but sort of a, a bend but didn't break defense and we've seen that uh, here again today as Beckman with plenty of time will throw it out to the far side where Bisky has got the first down well he had it and then he ran back and then he ran <laughs> where your Robisky is located and happens to be his best receiver today. Now the freshman Brandon Sane in the game and he gets the football. He covers it up nicely as uh, he moves forward. It's going to take some time for this to gel. It's going to take some time for the offensive line to get in sync with the running game. And here we got another substitution penalty. Illegal substitution. What? Ohio State had 12 players break the huddle. That's a five-yard penalty. Remains second down. Sane still in there at running back. And another penalty marker. False start, number 86, offense. So Five-yard penalty, remains second down. Final from the receiver coach. Second and 15, and Beckman straight back, looking down the middle, and battling, and penalty markers go down. Rubisky, the intended receiver. Or Richards did a nice job. Number eight, uh, I grabbed the shoulder defense. pad right there. 15 yards. Previous spot, automatic first down. You know it's in. Hartline and Sanzenbacher split to the near side. Deontay Johnson back in there, and Sane will get the call. Look at him move outside. Penalty marker goes down. What a move by Sane. Touchdown, Ohio State. But we've got a penalty marker back at the 20. That was impressive right Very there. Very on a running play. Number 63, offense. 10-year penalty. Previous spot, repeat. First down. 123 to go in the third. Sane, the lone setback, three wide receivers. And Beckman throwing it outside to Hartline. Hartline inside the 10, down to the 8. Sane still in there. He's the deep back. Johnson in front of him. And Sane gets the call. Sane's inside the 5. He's got the first down. If he could finish it off here. Uh, first and goal from the 3. Sane gets the call. And driving forward to about the 1. And Brandon Sane from Piqua, Ohio, Mr. Football in Ohio last year. We've completed three quarters of play from Ohio Stadium. The Buckeyes of Ohio State lead the Penguins of Youngstown State 24 to 6. The fullback Johnson in front of him. Sane gets the call. Sane not able to. Third and goal from the one yard line. Sane is still in there. One wide receiver. Rubisky split to the top. And Beckman wants to throw it. Plenty of time. Now going to the near side. And he's got a man. Number 16 over there. Trevor Robinson. Fifth year senior out of Richmond, Virginia. He's a fullback. And what a great moment for this uh, young man who's played mostly on special teams in his career. Yeah. That's one of those biscuits he gets after all. 14 plays, 65 yards, 7.33, and uh, Pretorius with the extra point. So the uh, score now, 31 to 6, Ohio State. And let's end. Going to be able to take a lot more from this football field. Uh, word is that maybe Cameron Hayward, D lineman, will be playing basketball for you this uh, winter. Yeah, and you know, I, I told Coach Trussell we needed some toughness on our team, and he says, I got just the guy for you. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's, it's cool. Once in a lifetime. It'll be a lot of fun. Handoff on second and ten. The handoff and Edwards moving ahead to the third down and four. Williams will move out and throw on the run, and he's got a man over there to Michael Horn. 12:40 left to go here in this football game. First and ten from the 33, and Williams will take it himself, just driving ahead. And Philando Williams getting the greatest. You know, jumps in college football from week one to week two when you find out more about yourself. On second down and four, Jordan Edwards Jordan maybe Edwards gets a yard. I'm sure they won't have any problems getting geared up for them. On third down and four, 
Boy, nice fake right there, and number one for Lando Williams at Georgia Military College. And he is stuffed right there. The ball right at midfield. Williams at Georgia Military Junior College uh, helped lead them to a number two national ranking last year, and now he is in a big heap of trouble. And you might be able to do that in junior college. You like those little passes, that little slant routes that they catch early and able to convert to a third down. Williams has got some room to run across the 45 to the 46 yard line. Ben Nowicki to punt it in his first day. That is his first really good kick. And uh, Rubisky down there with the fair catch at the 11th. So number seven now in at quarterback, Antonio Hinton. A Richard freshman out of Fort Valley, Georgia, 6'2, 232. And he is getting his. Uh, First action today as he hands it off to Mo Wells. And look at the hole right there. And Wells across the 35. And that might be a late hit. It is. The flag goes down. Dead ball. You, you give Mo Wells Personal a chance foul. in the secondary. Number four. Defense. Late hit. Out of bounds. 15 yards. Wilson penalty. is a transfer the from run. Nevada. First down. First and 10. Mo Wells still in there at running back. He gets the call again on the right side, and he is down to the 45, where he is thrown back there by Mike Barlick, number 44. Getting his first action for Ohio State, second and seven. The handoff now going around the left side, Beanie Wells, and uh, leans forwards, got the first down, still going at the 35-yard line. First and 10, 37-yard line out of the shotgun, Hinton. Looking down the middle, Sansenbacher had it right Second and ten. There's Sanzenbacher in motion to the top. Benton wants to throw it again. Looking downfield and got his man. That's Washington. And Torian Washington takes it in for a touchdown. Washington, the freshman out of Detroit, Michigan. And the touchdown pass from Antonio Hinton. A lot of firsts today. Boy, I'll tell you what, the freshmen are showing up big time for Ohio State. In Washington, his first ever touchdown reception. And this is our first broadcast on the Big Ten Network. Yeah. Five plays, uh, 88 yards. It took a minute and eight seconds. The uh, extra point was good at Ohio State. Now with 7.44 to go. Leads at 38-6 over Youngstown State. Hit to Washington. Dustin Helley, 22, back deep for the Penguins. And that kick to Helley at the seven-yard line. He gathers it in. And he is brought down at the 20. That five and one against Michigan is really important, isn't it, Mike? That's big, that's big <laughs> to the whole state of Michigan, plus the alumni base. But on first and ten, Brandon Nicholson. A lot of football yet to be played, and this is only opening day. On second and one, Jordan Edwards uh, got the handoff, but he was collared immediately. But you got to play your best games, not only at home, but uh, definitely on the road to, to win as many as you can. And so they're, they're very high on, but. Uh, they were reluctant to put him into this situation, you know? Yeah. And so, uh, looking up a guy like Zets, or is it better to sit on the sideline for an entire year and then just have to start, you know, cold the next year? Up to 59%, uh, third in number of passes, second in uh, touchdown passes with 44. At the end of the day, there's a lot to be had here. Second down and 10, the uh, handoff uh, to Brandon Nicholson, the junior. Third down and eight now. Ball at the 46-yard line. Lando Williams roll it out to the near side. And out of bounds at the 46. A lot of numbers. The wiki to punt it. Pressure was on. Did a good job getting away with it. Malcolm Jenkins will take it back to the near side. And Jenkins still on his feet. And Jenkins pushed out at about the 40-yard line. The 39-yard line, Robbie Schoenhoff back in at quarterback. The sophomore from Mason, Ohio. Out of the shotgun, he's going to swing it out to Mo Wells. Sansenbacher got a block for him. And by the way, Ohio State and Youngstown State will play again next year. Schoenhoff throwing it downfield, and the completion right there at the 49-yard line. Not too much fat on his body. No. On a third and one, Schoenhoff uh, just leans forward, all six foot six of him. Pair. We, we prepared well. We just kind of ran out of time here today because they started getting some things going. Schoenhoff uh, will take it down to it. Yeah, because when you what's the difference in programs? Oh, one double up, you know? Yeah. It's a scholarship. Yeah. And so the top line kids can compete. 
Schoenhoff's going to roll out now as he's looking downfield. And the pass there at the 24 yard line, Torian Washington. And the SC, second and 10, 37 seconds left to go. And Sane will take it just right up the middle. And there are the coaches uh, out at midfield. 38 6, the final. Ohio State defeats Youngstown State. A former player, former, co or former coach as well. Well, Mike, you know, we talked about the uh, the game, both sides, uh, you know, what Ohio State comes away with, what Youngstown State comes away with. But, uh, you know, all in all, this was a well-played football game. Well-played football game. We talked about in the open as well. Who, who's going to replace the Teddy Gins and the Gonzalez's and the Pittmans? They're going to replace the running back. They're going to replace the receivers going down the field when Small gets healthy for Ohio State. But the quarterback position will not be like Troy Smith. He's just going to have to evolve from week in and week out. And this was a decent performance for him today, and I'm sure he's going to learn a lot in the film room tomorrow.